What is Wireshark? Wireshark is a network packet analyzer. A network packet analyzer will try to capture network packets and tries to display the packet data as detailed as possible. There is a logo of Wireshark. Why people nowadays use Wireshark? Network administrators use it to troubleshoot network problems. Network security engineers use it to examine security problems. Developers use it to debug protocol implementations. People use it to learn network protocol internet. There is a feature of Wireshark. Here are the examples of some features of Wireshark. It's available for Unix and Windows. It's capture live packet data from a network interface. Display packet with very detailed protocol information. It save packet data capture. Export some or all packets in a number of capture file formats. Filter packets on many criteria. It search for packets on many criteria. It's colorized packet display based on filters and it create various statistics. The figure shows the example of Wireshark capture the packet and it lets how it examine their contents. My name is Nur Shamimi Binti Amasaiki. Now I'm going to explain the relation between Wireshark and FTP. Uh, FTP is a file transfer protocol and is very efficient in downloading files while Wireshark is the free program. Um, it's, a, it's a network analyzer. So I'm going to download a file. I'm going to show the demo here. So first of all, we have to go to the capture and go to the options. We unclick the use permissions mode on all interfaces and we click on the capture it all on the interfaces. Make sure that you have uh, internet so we can load it. I'm going to use command prompt here. So uh, I'm going to type in ftp, ftp.makeafee.com, the website that I'm trying to download file from. So I'm going to click enter, and yes, it's already connected, and now I have to enter my username. So I'm going to use anonymous since I don't have a username. So anonymous, so I'm going to enter, and it's quite possible, so I'm going to use my name as password and MIMI. So yeah, here we go. I already entered the website, so I want to see what kind of files in the websites. I'm going to use the command dir. All right, here is the list of all webs, uh, all files containing the website. So here I'm going to, I want to download files, so I'm going to type is ASCII and then binary and ASCII gate and a hash. Uh, the function of a hash is is to show the progress of the downloading files. So I'm gonna download the largest files here. I'm gonna download the usage.txt. So I'm gonna use the command get usage.txt. So yeah, it's success. So yeah, done. The files already downloaded. And I'm gonna quit. Alright, goodbye. So yeah, we have to stop it. And we click stop. So here uh, we can go through and I'm gonna see the total frame here. The total frame from uh, the process that we have did down is now is 116. And here is the result and the packets that yeah. Here is you can see here is the FTP protocol start here, the response, um, the TCP and FTP is almost the same. Gonna go to the FTP here is where we enter the anonymous as a user, and here is the my password at frame forty, and um, here is the response time opening the file. I'm gonna yes, this is transfer complete. I'm gonna find the file. Yes, this is the comment of successful in downloading file. Yeah, 
Let us all total love for FTP. FTP is file transfer for coin. So I'm going. I have demo on how to download on a file to show the the packets, the protocol that involved here. So this is the last thing that I type as a quit here FTP, and this is goodbye. Um, that's all on the relationship between Wireshark and. What is File Transfer Protocol FTP? File Transfer Protocol, or known as FTP, is a standard internet protocol for transmitting files between computers on the internet over TCP or IP connections. FTP is a client-server protocol that relies on two communications channels between client and server. It is a common channel for controlling the conversation and a data channel for transmitting file content. Using FTP, a client can upload, download, delete, rename, move and copy files on a server. A user typically needs to log on to the FTP server. Although some servers make some or all of their content available without login, also known as anonymous FTP. FTP sessions work on active mode or passive mode. There is a difference between active mode and passive mode. Active mode is after a client initiates a session via a command channel request, the server initiates a data connection back to the client and begins transfer data. This is the example of active FTP. This is client computer and this is a server. Client computer FTP control connection to port 21 from high port. It will bring the port 20 and FTP data connection initiation from port 20 on server to high port on client. This is the high port. It bring the high port on client. For FTP session passive mode, in passive mode, the server instead use the command channel to send the client information. It needs to open a data channel. Because passive mode has the client initiating all connections, it works well across firewalls and network address translation, not gateways. This is the example of passive FTP. This is client computer and this is a server. FTP control connection to port 21 from high port. FTP data connection initiation from high port on client to high port on the server. This means the high port from client to high port on server. So we will explain about this, but that's it related to Wireshark. I'm Shapika. I'm Shifa. So what is Testbed? Testbed also known as Test Environment. It is a test execution environment configured for testing. Testbed consists of specific hardware, software, operating system, the product under test, other system, and application software. Testbed configuration it is one of the combination of hardware and software environment on which the test will be executed. It includes hardware configuration, operating system settings, software configuration, test terminals, and also other support to perform the test. And how to set up the testbed environment? First, configure the capability of hardware use. Second, configure the stability of software. Third, the tester must be the same person who configure the test environment. Lastly, the team of development need to take initiative in the configuration. Then, the team still need to do the same process of test environment. This is the example of test environment setup process. The first step is approach. 
Then, identification of target. Third is the requirement list. The fourth is the test environment configuration and determination. And the last is configuration done. FTP and Wireshark. FTP is used to transfer files across the computer networks. Security, FTP use plain text password. Protocol dependency in the Wireshark is FTP uses TCP as its transport protocol. The well-known TCP port for FTP controller is 21 and for FTP data is 20. However, the FTP data port is negotiated through the control port and will typically vary in an unpredictable manner. In Wireshark, the FTP detector is fully functional. Unfortunately, FTP does not need a specific preference settings. Thank you, that's all. Hi, I'm going to explain what is a packet. A packet is the unit of data that is routed between an origin and a destination on the internet or any other packet switch network. So this picture is just the differentiate between TCP and IP. When any file is sent from one place to another on the internet, the transmission control protocol TCP layer of TCP IP divide the file into chunks of an application size for routing. Each of these packets is separately numbered and includes the internet address of the destination. The individual packet for a given file may travel different route through the internet. When they have all arrived, they are reassembled into the original file by the TCP layer at the receiving end. So this one just shows the normal network packet. Well, this one shows the network packet capture. So this diagram describes the packet capture by using any of software created using Powtoon.